Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a stew with pork ribs and pasta shells. So let's begin. Okay, so I've got my deep pan here. I'm going to turn this heat up to number seven and I'm just going to add about three tablespoons of good old olive oil and we'll wait for this to heat up before adding these delicious pork ribs. Let's open them up. Bought these when I went shopping before yesterday I think and as you can see these pork ribs they're already cut up into nice chunks and they're really meaty so we'll wait for that to heat up I've got my carrots here I'm using five small carrots I haven't bothered I just washed them up and I didn't bother peeling them today because if I peel them they'll be half the size probably and that's it let's wait mm. And I do hope my lighting is okay today. I seem to be having problems getting lights, too much light around here. I've got my blinds closed and everything, but I seem to get light all the time. I don't know why. Right, so once the oil is hot, or hotish, we'll add these pork ribs in. And basically, I want to brown them all over. These look really good, they're so meaty, much better than the racks that I buy. They do have meat, the racks that I buy, but these have more meat and there's bone, which is awesome. Good for me, not so good for my wife, she likes the bones. Um, so. Tell you what, I'm going to add some salt in today with these while they're cooking. Hope it doesn't splash too much. We shall see. So we'll turn them about every now and then until they're all brown all round. Okay, so these are nicely browned all around. You can see. So I'm going to put them all onto this plate for now. And just leave them on the side. And I'm going to add the, the garlic in. And just brown that off. Right, so once the garlic is nicely browned, as you can see, what I'm going to do is add some tomato, three tablespoons roughly, or a bit more maybe. I'm also going to add one teaspoon, generous teaspoon of sweet paprika. Wait, look at that. Oh, the smell of that paprika is gorgeous. Um, what next? I'm going to add some yellow food colorant. Give it a nice, just a sprinkle. Give it a nice color, you know. Some black pepper. We've got new ones here today. They're multicolored. Going to add the carrots. The bay leaf leaves. I really need to find a bush of bay leaves because I'm run, running really low and I forgot to buy them. And I'm gonna chuck in the the ribs in there.
give it a move. Um, what next? Oh yes. Can't forget the wine, can you? The wine. Let's give this a a mix. That's it. Nice. It's all nicely soaked. And I'm going to leave it there for five minutes so that the alcohol evaporates, you know. And while we wait for this, let's clean this up a little bit. It didn't splash too much today. I'm quite surprised. That's it. Good as new. So let's wait four minutes more. Okay, so once the the wine has evaporated, what I'll do is um, let's put these nicely there. I'm going to just cover it, just try and cover everything more or less with the broth. This uh, this broth is um, it's vegetables. It's got chickpeas, carrot. Ah, it's got meat as well. It's got veal and chicken. So, I just cover it more or less, you know. This is half a litre, by the way. I used it, I used the other half a litre the other day. So I'll cover, I'll add it onto there. I put the lid on. And I'm still keeping it on medium high, number seven. And I'll let it boil there for... 15 minutes. I'll be back in a minute. Let's make that 20 minutes because it's cold. So five minutes to heat up and 15 to boil. Yay. And once the 20 minutes are up, I will add my pasta shells. These pasta shells here in Spain, they're called tiburon, which translated to English mean shock. They don't look very sharky to me, do they? What do you think? Okay, so time is up. And you know what? I'm tempted to chuck these away and serve this over some chips. What do you think? Well, these carrots are al dente, the meat is nice and soft, gorgeous. So what I'm going to do now is, whoa, I'm going to fish the bay leaves out. There should be four, if I remember correctly. They're so small. I need a bigger fishing net. Well, it looks like one is going to get away. Ah, here it is. You bugger. Right. God, this looks... Oh, my God. Beautiful. Okay, let's stop messing about. I'm going to add the sharkies in. nice ASMR sounds there and the rest of the broth I'm gonna put some water in this give it a shake and just add it there and I'll just move it about Obviously, it's cooled down. It stopped boiling. But that's okay. Because what I'm going to do now is cover it up. And I reckon that 15 minutes should be okay. So I'll put the timer on. And I'll be back and let you know. Okay. So, 
the 15 minutes are up. Let's turn the extractor fan off. And this is looking beautiful. Look at that. So let's do a stab check on everything. The ribs, lovely and soft. Pasta, lovely al dente. And the carrots, al dente also. So what I'll do now is turn the heat off. And I'm going to serve it on my usual dish for a thumbnail well so here is today's delicious recipe pork ribs with pasta shells and carrots I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video please give me a like if you did please leave me a comment I will answer you as soon as possible and I look forward to sharing my next recipe video with you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.